to party. Jokes. Just to start the vlog. <laughs> um, this is weird. I haven't vlogged since my birthday. My hair is so greasy. So I'm really sorry about that. But I don't want to wash it yet. Tomorrow or something. Or tonight. Today I am going to do a vlog. And it is currently 10 past 2. Woke up at like 12. And we are going to do, we're going to make some cake pops. I actually have wanted to make these cake pops for about three weeks now. But because I've been so busy with uni life, uh, I haven't had the time. So basically, we're going to make some cake pops. I need to paint my nails, I need to have my lunch, I need to put my decorations up. I need to put the decorations on the big tree downstairs up. And yeah, I think, I think that's it. Anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go downstairs. Off we go. Oh, I also need to put people's presents underneath the tree. And I don't want people to see their presents, so I, I won't put that in the vlog. But yeah, let's get down the stairs. Let's get down the stairs. Okay, what shall I have for my lunch? I don't know. Let's have a look in the freezer. Hello again. Uh, so update, I actually didn't have any eggs, so I had to go down downtown and buy some and now I'm just like oh I can't be bothered but basically I'm making my lunch I'm gonna have some rice and I'm gonna have a veggie burger so I'm basically just gonna eat that while I'm cooking and the reason why I'm doing a vlog style cooking video is because the lighting is really bad my lunch is ready I'm just gonna eat my lunch and then we're gonna get cooking are you ready to get cooking? But basically, I have some really cool crispy sprinkles, whatever the frick frack they are. Where are they? Got some Halloween sprinkles as well that I actually never used. But I got some Christmas sprinkles and we're gonna use those. And I got some candy melt and we're gonna get full on with this ish. So, let's go. What you're going to need is my pointing spoon. Blip, 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 blip. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to move it to the side. I'm gonna put a little box here. I'm gonna put a little list. So you, if you guys want to cook these cake pops, then you can. <coughs> and excuse my, my noise of my dog. He's literally just walking around. I have a little tip tap tip, as you can hear him just now. <laughs> what you're gonna need is 90 grams of self-raising flour, 90 grams of caster sugar, 90 grams of soft margarine, two medium eggs, and half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. So the vanilla essence is just optional you don't have to have it if you want it to taste something like something different like strawberry or chocolate or anything like that uh, you can just add the flavoring kind of as you go but I'm just gonna I might add the vanilla essence I might not but I think I might because it would just it add a bit of uh, some nice taste to it so let's get cooking get a big bowl and it's just everything you're gonna mix mix in it in just gonna grab some scales and I'm going to measure out 90 grams of self-raising flour <laughs> get two eggs and these are these are mixed eggs so they're all kind of like different sizes but it says to use medium eggs so I'm just gonna use the ones that look medium <laughs> you got all your ingredients in the bowl and we got it you're gonna mix it and it's gonna be great I've decided to grab this because the, because I didn't use smooth butter like it said, it is going down the drain. So I'm going to put this on. So this is the fun part. So basically, so to make my cake pops, I have this mold, and it has two pieces, and the side without the holes in it. You fill these with the cake mix and then you basically just pop this on top, put it in the oven for how long the recipe tells you to, and then basically they will turn into little round things. So that's what we're going to do, we're just going to spoon the mixture from the bowl into the cake pops. You need to grab this top half and basically just place it over the top making sure that it's nice and secure 
And I don't know if you can see or not, but there are like little holes that you can put like the, the sticks through. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can always do that afterwards actually, it's probably a better idea. Okay, so that's all done. Oh, also you will need some sticks to stick your cake pops in obviously, or you can use lollipop sticks or any, basically any sort of stick that will kind of work with it. So just press that down, make sure that's all sorted. And they're gonna go in for 12 minutes and then I'm just gonna check them. About 12 to 15 minutes, so I'll put it on 12 minutes. And just see how that goes so let's, let's see how that turns out guys look how pretty the sky is tonight so pretty cake pops are all done and now i'm just going to scoop them out and yeah we're gonna get some cake pops girl <laughs> We're going to melt the chocolate and I have some candy melts and these work so much better with cake pops because they dry harder and they're much thicker and these are really nice. So just tried one and they're so, so sweet. Like vanilla and white chocolate is just amazing. This is all mixed together. It looks all smooth. Like I put, I adjusted the power and I put it one down from like the highest heat and I put it in for about three times 30 seconds. So I put it for 30 seconds and then again and then again and then basically it just melted it really nicely so this looks so good oh my god it looks like fudge fudge white chocolate oh my god yum so let's get making